Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Ohio Richlands. You will see on the top right we've just spent $332,000 on a couple new bits of equipment. We've been demoing them over the past day or so. They've been brilliant, haven't let us down. And you seem to power through the jobs you give them very quickly. So we bought the 9470R John Deere, 517 horsepower. It has got 73.2 or 3 I think it is, so it is used. It should be serviced, that was the agreement with the dealer, but not to wash it, because we should have our own wash bay installed beside the new shed any day now. And the equipment is a John Deere 2630 5 section disc, 74 blades, 8 inch blade spacing, and 15.2 meters wide at 11 miles an hour. The discer was $109,074. As you can see, we've still got the, the demo plate on. That should be coming off in the next day or so. And the John Deere. It cost 223706 So they were quite expensive, but I think it's a good investment. It does still leave us the 126000 Which should be more than enough. But we do have a couple of things we need to do and buy. Um, that's come later in the next episode. You'll see that. So today will be, again, harvesting tillage it's it's another boring one really but there's a quick montage to get us through it and hopefully in episode five we should be doing some different kind of work but until then we've got a contract on field 10 to do with this new bit of equipment we've just bought so we'll head over there and get going we'll see you there in just a minute
we're just turning down into our yard just now, you'll notice on the right hand side there used to be the pile of wood for the shed. Um, I got hold of the guy to move it because we're going to be doing something with that area. And it turns out it was the wrong stuff they delivered, so they took it away and it should be back sometime tomorrow. And that's the concrete pad all finished and poured with a new wash bay in it too. Now I'm just down here to grab some diesel because I'm running pretty low. So we'll get fueled up, back out to the field, and we'll see if we can get this contract finished tonight. We shouldn't have much to complete the contract here, it would be most of the trailer, but as soon as we see our money start to climb, then we st there we go, we stop the trailer. So that's the contract on field 24 finished, and we also have £445 of income from sold soybeans. Now as this isn't the highest paying delivery point or co-op, we have found the other one that is slightly higher paying, it's about 25 27 dollars a thousand liters more so we're going to go and get the rest that's in the combine put it into this trailer and take everything up to the cell point that's paying more as we finish the contract everything in this trailer we can do what we want with we could keep it but one we have no need for it and two we don't have a bin to put it in a bin maybe on the cards but that's going to be next year that's going to be well after harvest or at least you know when we're harvesting the, the bin would be in production but let's grab the rest in the combine, let's get up to the better priced sell point and we'll see you over there to see how much we get. That's us just pulling into the co-op and for the extra soybeans on top of the contract that we will already be paid for, or will be paid for, we got $5,426, so that's not too bad. Let's see what the contract's made. So just checking our contracts quickly, harvest in field 4 we get 15836 and for cultivate in field 10 we get 28454 so just over 44,000, it's not too bad. Well, that's it from this episode. As you can see, the concrete pad is ready to go so hopefully we'll get the timber frame tomorrow and it gets put up because I'm hoping to have all the machines inside by the time winter comes. Hopefully there's a bit of a change tomorrow there won't be cultivating or harvesting we'll be doing something slightly different so we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>